Good morning and welcome back to another fabulous episode of Miss Martinez Teaches Foundations from Home. And here's your host, Mrs. Martinez. Hello, everybody. Hello. Nice to see you again today. Okay, sorry. Just tell you. Sprucing it up a little, sad. All right, so we're going to talk about some more double vowel syllables. So I know we've gone over all of our sounds. We did this in class, so I know it's been a while. But today we're going to look at O-I, queen oi, and O-I, boy oi. As you can see, we are very slowly working our way down our chart. So O-I and O-I. First thing you need to know, they make the same sound. Second thing, O-I is going to come at the end of a syllable, and O-I comes at the beginning or the middle. Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind. Think about those words that we know, boy, toy, oi. Okay, think about where those come in. So, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a word up on the board and we're going to try to mark it up. So first one, boil. Okay, this is like mom or dad or maybe even you boil some water so you can make some macaroni and cheese. Okay, b oil. So I don't have my lovely, this is the chart I have. I don't have my lovely sound cards that we had in school with the pockets with all the letters so I can move them. Um, I don't want to draw a line this time because I think it might confuse you a little bit. So I'm just going to leave a space, enough room for two letters because I know I'm doing it double vowels, um, where that oi sound is. And we're going to see if we can figure it out, okay? So, b, oi, o, b, oi, o, b, oi, o, okay? Now, if I think about the rule that I that we just went over, OI comes at the end, OI comes in the middle. Well, let's look at this. Boil. One syllable. Does it come at the end? No. I got this L here. So I know that it's a beginning middle sound. So right there, I already know what it is. It's. Yeah, that's how you got it. It's OI. And just like we were marking up our E E E A and EY from last week, we're going to circle it, right? Because it's a double vowel, we're gonna scoop and put a lowercase d under our scoop, okay? Next word, join. Let's all join in on the fun of foundations, yeah. All right, join, you ready? J, oi, n. So again, same thing, don't have my little sound card, so I'm gonna leave space. Join. I know, I know, it's the same thing. It's in the middle, it's not at the end. It's gotta be OI. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna circle my double vowel. I'm gonna scoop it and I'm gonna put a D under. You guys are just too smart for your own good. Okay, next one. Boy. There's girls. Oh, that's not girls. Boy, there's a girl, there's a boy. They both wanna go to the park. Boy. B, oi. Is it going to be O-I or O-Y? You're right. It's going to be O-Y because it comes at the end. There's not another consonant at the end here. So it's going to be O-Y. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to circle it. How many syllables? Boy. One. Let's double that. So up here, I'm going to write, since we've gone over these, um, beginning, middle for oi and for oi. Okay, so we have beginning, middle, oi, and oi. Okay, so it's on our paper. You could do this too on the piece of paper that you're doing to mark this up. Or if you have a chart for some reason at home for foundations and you want to put it up there so that you have all of your lovely letters and sound things, like I do, you can. Next one. Ploy. I know you probably haven't heard that word very much before. Like it's um kind of like an idea. A ploy. Usually not a good one. Pull. Pull. Oi. Two letters. Let's see. Is it a beginning, middle, or an end? All right, 
I'm listening to what you're saying. Very nice. Look at your paper, make sure it matches. I'm sure it does. All right. We did two O I's, we did two O Y's. So I'm gonna start mixing it up and see if you can figure it out. Point. 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 Right on your paper. No, I'm not doing it. You're doing it. Did you do it? Does yours look like mine? It doesn't? Oh, because you put your double vowel in there. All right. All right. So let's see. I have p, oi, nt. How many syllables do I have? Still have one. Okay. So this is still going to work. I've got to figure out if it's the beginning, middle of this syllable or if it's the end. I know. Super smart little cuties. Oh, I. Uh, one syllable. D. Next one. Noisy. You all are very noisy today. You have to write that on your paper. See if you can figure that out. Now you have to think back to when we were still in class. We were talking about those E sounds at the end of a word. Noisy. 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 Hmm. The end of a syllable. Usually the end of a second syllable. What sound does, what letter sound make that? I'm gonna write on my board, write on yours. Don't look, no peeking. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's not an E at the end? You're right. You remember. I was just spreading it out there to see if you could catch me. At the end of a second syllable, you're gonna put that Y. All right. So I know that my oi sound is not at the end. Noisy. Hmm. Oi. You're right. It's gonna go right there in the middle of my word. I'm gonna circle it. We could put our E up here and bring that E. Next one. I'm gonna erase. Get some room over here. Next one. Toys. Toys. Hmm. Now I remember that S can sometimes make an S or a Z sound, or it could be a Z. Okay, so I had to figure that out. And if I take off that S at the end. I still have the word toy, which makes it a suffix. All right. So we're going to write the word toy. I want you to see what I was going to do. Blank, blank. And this is going to be a suffix. So this is not part of my word. Very important to notice that. Not part of my word. My base word is over here. Toy. So I'm missing my oi sound at the end of the word. Oy. Make sure when you mark this, remember, we circled our suffix. We only mark the base word. Okay. I'm going to put a couple up and see if you can do them. Destroy. I'm going to leave those blanks. Another one is enjoy. And my last one is spoil. Don't spoil the fun by shouting it out. Okay, go ahead and see if you can figure those ones out. All right, see what you got. Yep, you did. You got it. You guys are so smart. All right, so at the end of my word, I put O Y. I circle it. D. Destroy. D. 
the E. And that's a long E, which makes it. Remember when we did this and we said, oh, he's at the end. There's nothing following him. Be open. Destroy. We can also mark up that blend. Down here I have in joy. In joy. In joy. N. Well, it ends with a consonant and it doesn't say in joy, so I know it's going to be short and it's going to be closed. This will be a double vowel. Last one, spoil. Spoil. That's one. And you can mark up our blend here. All right, guys, it was lovely seeing you again. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.